Hey everyone, it's Zadira and I'm back and without Steffi still, but she's getting there. She had to completely delete her art game and had to reinstall everything. Oh my gosh, this has been so awful for her. But we're hoping that that's going to get resolved here pretty soon. In the meantime, I did want to go ahead and get a lot, quite a bit done. I'm not getting much done at all waiting, so I really need to get some things done around the base. We've got to go tame out, tame us out some new for dear creatures, right? So what I need to do first, I need to have a garden and that's we need that for our immersive taming to have better veggie bait. We need a garden. So I want to get that done. And so I was like, okay, well, I need to clean all this stuff out of here. Um, and then I thought, ooh, if I had something to haul or to a place to put all this stuff as I was harvesting it, so I didn't have to keep running back and forth, back and forth. And I thought, oh, I should use Sparky. Look, Sparky grew up. Isn't he awesome? It is. Oh, it's actually a girl. She's a sparky, sparkly sparky. <laughs> anyway, so I thought, well, let's just use sparky. And then I thought, well, let's just use this wagon. I wanted to show you in the bench, in the workbench. This is out of Eco's Highland Homes mod that you can, where you go and craft these things. There is a wagon. First of all, we, I did craft a primitive highland saddle so i figured out you had to have a saddle on the cow first and there's numerous you can't see them very well i'm not sure why uh, they are so dark in eco's mods but hopefully maybe someday she'll fix that but we're going to get the large um highland wagon that's the one that i have over there it took 100 fiber 25 metal and 500 wood for that the primitive saddle was 110 fiber, 200 hide, and 5 metal ingots. There's also uh, ascendant saddles with these. Here's an equus primitive and then equus ascendant. And then here is the primitive plow harness and the uh, ascendant plow harness. So there are different saddle types. that They take, of course, more resources. There's the caravan wagon. But today, what I want to do right now, we'll, we'll check all that stuff out another time. What I really want to do is I want to hitch Sparky up to the wagon. I made one of the, the boxes. Let's see. Let's see here. That you can put in the wagon. I wonder. I didn't even try. Oh, yeah. You can put... You can put, oh goodness, I wonder how many we could actually put. But we can put them on both sides, which probably might be, it looks like it might even could fit two on this one side. That would be amazing. They don't hold a heck of a lot. Um, so let's see here. I think it's only 100, yes, yeah, 125 items. So that's not a, a lot, so you need to probably have several boxes. But with all these trees and all these rocks here, uh, everything had disappeared. Let's see here. Let's go in K mode maybe and see. No, not quite lined up. If we go this way, it's like, it's like backing up a truck, right? <laughs> yeah, there we go. That should do it. You have to back up your animal fairly close to the wagon is what I figured out. And then you come over and you do hitch dino and it hitched it up. See? Isn't that awesome? And now I can just take Sparky around with me and we can chop off. When you get off, you kind of get off down in here, but see, you can go right through. So don't worry about getting stuck. But, oh my goodness, let, I'm going to go make another box so I can have a box on both sides. I think that would be so smart. Let's see, I guess probably have the resources for it. Let's box B O X. Hmm. Oh, it was under what? Oh, here, yeah, here we go. Storage. Okay, let's pull our resources and craft. Awesome. And let's just go ahead and do another one. Now, one thing. Oh, I don't have enough metal. Okay, we'll have to go get metal. Um. It might be, if you watched the last episode or so, you saw we put a barn, and the barn is full of trees. So, um, 
There might be metal down in there, but that's okay. We'll, we'll just do this. We only need one box on each side. But what's interesting is all of these resources all disappeared. You know, I was complaining about so many resources. And I put down a uh, an SS. Let's see if we move it over then. An SS feeding trough. And as I as I chopped down all the trees and the rocks, they all disappeared. And when I came in game, everything was gone in here. So all I did was pick up the SS box or SS feeding trough and they all pop back up instantly. I thought that was amazing. So that's a kind of a good way to do that. If you don't want the resources around, then you can make them go away. But look at that. Oh my gosh, guys. So so they are stacking. We have a stacking mod, so they're going to stack to, I think, a thousand on our server. So, oh man, I probably, I don't need more than two boxes, more than likely. So, wow, this is awesome. I love this. And uh, let's see, let's get some stone. And I should be able to um, fill these boxes up. And also, it says ride, and that means you get in the driver's seat. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of metal and some flint. So if you go on the on the wagon itself, it says ride, and I can just I'll pull pull Sparky over here a little ways. That's so much better. That is awesome. I love it. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to get all this stuff and get it all pulled down. What we need to do... Um, what we need to do is get all this stuff cleared out so that we can build a garden, a, a quick garden, so that we can have all of the veggies growing. And um, we need to get started on our big RP gar uh, cooking garden. Wow, there's so much shrubbery, and uh, I need so we need to get a lot of resources and get this cleared off of that. But for in the meantime. While I'm doing this, in fact, I think I'll just go do that right now before I stop. Oh, now, can you back up? Well, okay. Let's see. This this is probably going to need to be... Yeah, it's like it's like driving a truck. Here we go. Can we do it? Oh, my gosh. Yes. This is awesome. I'm glad they don't... I'm glad the wagons don't tip over. And really, I won't... I don't need to park because I can just come over here and pull things out of it. So... But I'll park just to get the Sparky out of the way. It's weird how you fall down there every time. But what I want to do is I want to make this canoe and I want to go get some crystal. I do have this pteranodon here, but I'm not sure the story behind it. And I don't want to use someone else's pteranodon unless I get specific permission. We're all in one tribe, but that's just kind of... I wonder if I have enough hide. Let's see here. Let's go in here and try to pull... Anyway, I want to build this canoe and head over and grab us some crystal. Let's see if we have enough hide. Oh, yes, we do. Let's do that. Let's get this one. And let's see. I've got a little bit of food. I've got my hatchet. I've got my pick. I've got my spear. I think we're good. We're going to run down here to the beach and put this... Oh, that was kind of laggy, wasn't it? But, um, I've noticed that in spots on the server. Let's see here. All right, here we go. Let's you have to be careful. I don't know if that alpha raptor's been killed yet. I saw that in the last episode, but there's a lot of activity going on on the server. It's so much fun. Oh, oh, I heard that. Oh, why are you running? Why are you afraid? You're afraid of something. Oh, I bet it's a D-Lo here somewhere. Let's see. Let's get the canoe in place. And let's start heading over. And we will go over and grab us some... What I'm curious about, too, why... Uh, I think by take... Oh, I already see that it looks a little different. Oh, interesting. Well, there may not even be any crystal over here where I thought. We'll see. But this is where we used to go when we'd first get on the map. I knew right where to go get the crystal. Gosh, look at this, guys. This looks this looks really different than when uh, the first time I got on Fordure. Oh, 
that looks really different. I can't wait to get on a flyer and start exploring more. I tell you what, I will bring you right back as soon as I get over there. It's going to take a minute. All right, looks like so far I'm seeing at least the place where there used to be crystals. I'm not seeing the green color yet, though. The, this this area with these um, uh, odd-looking stones that look like wyvern trench stones. Oh, I'm seeing some green. I am so happy, guys. I was really getting worried. Yes, this is awesome. So when I always would get on Fort Dur to play fur, the first thing, I'd make me a raft or a canoe, and I'd come over here to get my crystal, because otherwise you have to kind of go up where it's dangerous, up in the tops of the mountains. And so this is the easiest place to get crystal, without a doubt. And I'm just happy. Looks like this whole little area right here is different. It's going to be interesting. I'll have to watch my old videos to see uh, the difference, but oh yeah, it looks... It looks very different. Right, here's some. I only need a little bit to get started. I don't need a lot, but I am going to have to come back and get a lot. But once I get crystal, then I can get my spyglass, and then I can look at all the pteranodons. I only like to get pteranodons that have really good stem. Let's see. We'll get as much as we can carry right here. Take it back with us. Wow, that is, that is really crazy. This, it's just a normal pick. It's not even a fancy pick at all. Okay, I think that's going to be enough to get us started. Okay, oh, I couldn't see my canoe. So, this is also, oh, I can make the, I can go home and make my spyglass. Let's turn the correct way. When I saw that Demorphodon a while ago, I thought, oh, is that one of the hawks? I did notice that Colt, our new tribe member, has a couple of hawks already. We're going to have to interview him and see how he got those, how easy they are to tame. And then we're going to have to go find us some. Ooh, don't run into the rock. Ouch. All right, I will bring you back just as soon as I get back home and get my spyglass made. All right, as I was headed across... The, rip, the waterway here, I saw this blue beacon drop, and I wanted to go see. Is it an actual beacon, or is this what it looks like if you see one of the rune stones that you get now? Ooh, there's some pteranodons. Okay, let's carefully. This is a super dangerous. This is usually covered with raptors and carnos right here. But we're going to, let's see if we can go around this direction. Maybe... Climb up. Yes. Oh, ooh. Okay, so it looks like a normal four deer loot drop. Let's peek over. I can hear it humming. Let's see here. I don't see any danger. If I had my spyglass, though, I could see much better. Okay, let's go check it out. Oh, an Ascendant Manta Saddle and a Blueprint for a Medium Crop Plot. Neither one are very useful until, boy, when we get our grinder, that saddle's going to be useful. And you never know, maybe we will tame a manta. <laughs> right. So, that was interesting. I was thinking that the new little loot, I'm going to have to talk to, Colt told me last night before uh, I'd logged out that he had found one of those. So, we'll have to talk to him about that too. Let's see, where did we put the canoe? Am I? Spyglass, I'd be able to see it. Um, maybe it's on the other side of that rock. I know they do disappear, but it takes a while. There we go. There it is. I see it. Wow, I'm amazed at the lack of critters right here. I'm so happy about that. I don't like two zillion critters all around. All right, we're now we're in the front of our boat. All right, I will definitely... Unless they're not coming. Maybe we'll see another light, right? On the way. But um, we'll be back in just a minute. All right. I made it home. It's raining. And a little compy came. Oh, wait. Hey. I was going to say a little compy came to greet me. But what the heck? Why? 
Okay, I'm gonna actually leave the canoe here and I'm gonna do an experiment. Goodness, that danger music from those compies? Is that what that's from? I think it's getting nighttime. It's getting dark. It's storming out, definitely, and raining. Maybe that's why it's so dark. But anyway, I'm going to leave the canoe here because I want to do an experiment. It seems like sometimes in on some servers, the canoe just disappears after a little short time. But other servers, it never disappears. It'll stay there forever. So we'll see. I would love for it to just stay there so that if I needed to, I could just run down real quick. Oh my gosh, look at that pteranodon. <gasps> what? If I had my spyglass, I could see you. Oh, well, he's not so pretty from the back. Well, it's only a 190. I think I'd like... We Our server goes up to 300, so I'd really like to tame one higher up. It, but my main thing is stamina and weight. I always try to look for a pteranodon that has those two um, stats. Okay, so... Let's see if we can't make us a spyglass. I'm so excited about that. Um, here we go. Right here. Let's pull. Yes. Perfect. I've missed my spyglass. That's been awful not being able to look. There we go. And I always have it in my number six slot. Let's put away this saddle. Just put away everything. I just we've been throwing everything in this desk for now because oh I need to set up a refrigerator. I needed those. But for now, we're just going to throw everything in there. But, uh, okay, now we'll go back to Sparky. Get all of this cleaned off. And we'll get us a nice, beautiful garden going. Won't that be fun? That I, oh, I see there's some good stuff we need to pick up. Let's do, let's pick it up. I've been putting it in the... This is the RP. I think I need three total. Oh no, it's already made. This is the RP cooking mod, and you put the poop in, and that gives you leech blood, which is good for fishing. It makes a fertilizer, and it also gives you a seed pouch. And then you open the seed pouch. I'll show that another time. So we're on our way to getting our garden going. Oh my gosh, this has been so much fun, and I can't wait. Now I can just get all this stuff gathered up and, and get started on our garden. That'll be in the next episode, and I am crossing my fingers and toes that Steffi's going to be able to be with us next time. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of you very, very much. Please like and subscribe, and share the video if you think it's, you've enjoyed it. Bye!